Hello everyone! Thanks for being here today. Who's ready for some new drugstore makeup? I've got quite a few new things to chat about today. Um, let's see. Wet n Wild, Milani, Revlon, L'Oreal, Hard Candy also. I feel like I need to make a big sneeze, but it's just not going anywhere. It's just kind of staying talking about the Milani stuff, they've put out this fruity line where they have focused on different aspects like blueberry, cherry, avocado, and peach. And they put out this glorious PR package where it contained every piece of every part of that. And each range had some makeup-y sorts of things, but also some skincare items. I'm going to be talking about more the makeup aspect of that stuff today. Most of the stuff I've been playing with a little bit, but there are some things, as you'll notice, that I have not yet used. And one of those is this PR peach primer. So this is from Milani. It's called the Glass Skin Primer um, with peach extract. And this is sort of the range that claims to illuminate. Each of those fruity lines had sort of a different purpose. So it just looks white and creamy. Smells fantastic. Um, you'll notice in those ranges there's more scent infused in some products than others. So like the setting sprays, you can really smell it. Some of the lip products have a real strong scent. And then there are some other things where it's a little bit lighter, but I can really smell this. And is it making me look more glowy? Glass skin? What the heck is glass skin? Illuminated skin? Yes, but that just seems like kind of a gimmicky. <laughs> way to put it. I don't know. What I would say is this, is my skin feels very, very hydrated and it does kind of look glowy just to glance at it. But this primer is doing that without being like shimmery. Okay, so it's all in the texture. Then my friends, I'm trying to get a little bit better about showing you the things. <laughs> this tinted hydrator from Wet n Wild. It's called Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator. Hyaluronic acid, squalane, um, oil-free, sheer to medium coverage. The shade I have is light here and I wore this yesterday I was really impressed actually. I thought it had more coverage than I was thinking it would. So let's squeeze out a little bit. I've got like a large pearl sized amount. And how is everyone doing? Seriously, how's it going right now? Dabbing this all around like so. I could probably easily blend it in with my fingers. A little extra. <laughs> Scrape that off. I'm just going to use my beauty blender because I'm just sort of beauty blender obsessed lately and I'm going to bounce this in all over. And what we'll see here is, I think, that light to medium coverage that it claims. There we go. I mean, somebody tell me that was better than what you were expecting, because it's certainly better than what I was expecting. Gosh, and it's even more glowy today than it was yesterday, because I have that um, primer underneath. Didn't even use a primer under this the other day. My skin feels super hydrated, looks more even. I mean, I dig that. Now, concealer-wise, my plan is to do a couple things here. One of these items is from that peach range from Milani, and this is the Tinted Under Eye Brightener. It says Illuminate. Again, the whole function of the peach stuff is to illuminate. And they recently put out some under eye like brightening eye tint things in their supercharged line. And this seems a lot like the peach shade of that. They had a peachy one and a pinky one. And um, I'm just going to use that today. I think I'm going to pair it with just a regular concealer also. It's very, very thin in texture. You can see that peachy tone. They're just putting this out in one peachy tone, okay? Um, but I'm going to dab this around. If you could just feel the thinness of this, incredibly thin. And I'm going to dab this in, just with the Beauty Blender, see what happens. But what I wanted to tell you guys was I was touching up my makeup the other day, and I got a hunch that this might be good as a little under eye refresher, and it really was, because it's so thin and light. I just kind of dabbed, put a little dot under each eye, and blended it in lightly with a brush. And I thought it added some moisture back to the area, uh, brightened up a little bit, perfected a little bit. So I was happy with that. See what we're getting there? Like, it's not making the whole area completely flawless, but it is brightening somewhat. It's like I'm just tempted to put in a little skin tone concealer right in here. So I'm going to take my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, and this is just in my fair shade. And I'm going to use that in this zone. Maybe a little dot out here too. A uh, little around the nose since I don't have any concealer there. Oh, I can just find a million places to put it. And then behold the brightness. The skin has so much moisture to work with. Like it's okay to take a couple, <laughs> a couple concealer products here, especially with as thin as that peach one is. I can get away with this. 
who's watching American Idol this season. It's such a good season, you guys. There are so many good people on it. How about Willie? We're like diamonds in the sky. Oh my gosh, like that performance gave me goosebumps. I just didn't want that to end. Oh, love. I couldn't even tell you who my favorite is yet. Like there are too many just rising to the top. And I really love that guy, the heavy equipment operator. <laughs> the, I think his name's Chase. He's really good too. The voices I like on Idol are the voices where it really didn't have to be a certain song. It's just an amazing voice that you could listen to singing anything. Mm, lots of goodness this season, yes. So I've got that all blended in and now I feel really happy with the under eye coverage just all over the skin. Do you see this kind of glow, just moisture all over my skin? I mean, it does feel a little tacky to the touch, but it looks really illuminated all over. I like that. I don't really have a brand spanking new powder. I'm gonna pull out this Catrice Prime and Fine Illuminizing Powder. Um, this is just kind of a nice use it anywhere type of powder, I guess. <laughs> um, I'm setting my under eye with it, setting the T zone mainly. I don't know, now I kind of want to set all over the face. I just want it to be a little more even to the touch. I don't think this is taking away all my radiance, but I just need a little something there. For bronzer slash contour, I have something that's not, I don't think it's really new on the market, but it's kind of new to me. It's from Catrice, and it's called Sculpt Squad. You know how big I am on Catrice. I think their quality of product is just amazing. And this is what they've got. So, like, several different tones of contour, bronzer. There's, like, this lighter color that, uh, that could just work as a basic powder on me, like a skin tone powder. But I'm going to start with this Define color right here. I've played with this a couple times, not a whole bunch. So I'm still kind of feeling it out. Okay, I can go maybe a little. Let's do Define Sculpt back and forth. Let's see how easily this blends in. I'm always obsessed with like getting up to that hairline. I'm always pulling the hair back so I can get as close as possible. Um, these powders are fully matte and it seems like they're doing a fine job. I'm kind of focusing in on the sides of the face being a little deeper. Well, my forehead looks like it's been on vacation now. I'm gonna stick with that combo because I think Sculpt is kind of deep, but Define just sort of, I don't know, makes it manageable. Mmm, chiseled. Chiseled. Oh, so I've seen some questions like, what are you thinking about for the Sephora sale and all that? And I feel like that video I did um, talking about the undupable products, that would give you some very good um, high-end, mostly sold at Sephora options and ideas there. But also on my Instagram, I did a little Q&A where I said to y'all, just tell me what thing you're looking for and I'll come up with my favorite Sephora pick for that. And that was a couple days ago, but I saved it on a highlight. If you just go to my home Instagram page, and then you will see that little circle that says Sephora sale, and you can look through and see, and I link to everything too. It really is a good sale to take advantage of. Like, I'm sure a lot of people are like overwhelmed with the YouTube content and the social media content surrounding this sale. It's like, when will people shut up about this? I know. But if you've had your eye on some high-end items, you can save substantially. But moving on with this content, I mentioned Milani and those fruit collections and the cherry range and the peach range each put out a cream blush. They also both put out a baked blush and these are intense as all get out. Like I'm, I'm pretty much scared of these. These are so stinking bright. These baked blushes, there's the cherry on top. I mean, as you can see, you might assume that that's more intended for a rich deep skin tone and I think it is, but even the peach to. This is bright, gang. Like, it's just really... I could be careful with the peach. The cherry is a little intense for me, but I thought today let's play with the cream blushes. So this is their Cheek Kiss formula. It feels creamy, but real thin, okay? I'm gonna do a little dab of the peach, and then I think we'll amp it up with a little bit of the cherry as well. So I don't want to get too much. It looks really pigmented, but let's just go right for the apple with that peach and take our Sephora little guy here, the 56, we'll start calling it, and get that blended in. I do love the thinness of these blushes. They are not hard to work with at all. Okay, there's just a little bit of the peach. I'm so tempted by this. 
I could get myself in trouble with this blush. Dangerous blushes with Emily. Here we go. Let's do a couple. I don't care. I'll blend till the sun comes up. I mean, I just... Blush is my friend. See, I'm manifesting a good blush situation because blushes know... All blushes know I love them. Mmm. -hmm. Okay. So this... How would I describe this shade? I mean, it looks kind of like bright red, but it's pulling a little more pinkiness, I think, as it shears out on the skin. There's no shimmer in these, by the way. They are their pure color. What do we think? I think I went pretty safe with that, honestly. I think I need a little more. Just a little more. Straight in. Boop. Boop. Yes, yeah, so that kind of... This shade has given me a little bit of uh, that sun-kissed kind of feeling. Enjoyable. Enjoyable to put on, easy to put on. As far as weight and texture, it really doesn't look like anything additional is on the skin. It's just that color that you're seeing. Yay! I don't have an incredibly new highlight, so I'm just going to take this opportunity to use Catrice Sungasm, which is incredible, with my Real Technique setting brush. The eyes just like... Okay, got that little streak there. Now I'm dusting off any excess, so all I can do is blend. Oh, the glow, the radiance of this look. I'm just feeling it. Oh, I had something I've been meaning to talk to you guys about. When I put it that way, it sounds like it's going to be something really serious and deep, but actually I just wanted to say, does anybody else love the B-dubs cauliflower wings as much as I do? Holy cow, buffalo wild wings. Cauliflower wings, okay? They are taking cauliflower, I guess they're breading it, frying it probably, and uh, it's sounding less and less health conscious the more I talk here, but then they're tossing it in any wing sauce you want, and the texture of that, like, I could eat that every day of my freaking life. Like, it's so good. Um, the mild, I, I started out just having the mild, and then last weekend, I'm like, I'm gonna get half mild, half, um, honey barbecue, and my god, the honey barbecue about blew my mind. I don't know why I like it so much. It's like, I like wings, too. I'll eat boneless wings, I'll eat bone-in wings. Whatever wing you want to give me is fine, but why are these so good? Anyway, for some that might be like the biggest kernel of wisdom I provide in this video. I have some setting sprays. <laughs> Peach, blueberry, cherry. Okay, so the Peach and the cherry are the make it last. That very popular type of mist that Milani just puts out as is, but these are very scented and I love them both. I love all of these. This is called replenishing facial mist with the blueberry. The blueberry scent might kind of be my favorite because it's just the most unique. This, um, you've maybe tried a peach mist from Too Faced. I think this scent is even better. I want to use the blueberry today. Oh. So by replenishing, they mean uh, revive and soothe. So, you know, it probably makes you look a little more glowy after you put it on than these other two, but they all smell so good. Next up, I'm going to do my brows. Um, this is nothing brand new from the drugstore. It's just a Revlon um, retractable brow pencil here. It has a spoolie, and then it's like a... It's about as wide as the e.l.f. Instant Lift. Probably costs like two or three more bucks than the Instant Lift, if not more. So... Um, I would say just stick with the e.l.f. instant lift, but just to share about a little something different here, let's use this. And then Milani has um, an avocado conditioning clear brow gel that I'll put on top. They really did some neat things. It's kind of cool how each range, like while you saw me hold up several face mists there, each fruity range didn't put out all the same things. There was like a random hand cream in the peach line. Um, there's maybe a face mask or some eye masks or something like that. Um, I haven't really played enough yet with the different skincare elements. So that's why I'm just focusing on what I know about today. The more makeup-y stuff that I've had up here and I've just been dealing with a little bit more. I do like the peach hand cream. It's not O'Keeffe's working hands, but it's pleasantly thicker than I thought it would be. But my hands get just so dang dry. I, I need O'Keeffe's working hands like two times a day. This is all right, you know, but I have gotten so into this little benefit guy, this brow micro filling pen. It works so well. Um, it just like gives me these perfect looking brows, but it feels so effortless. I'm gonna just give it a little, a little rake through with the spoolie here in a couple places. And then 
I haven't used this yet, Conditioning Clear Brow Gel with Avocado. No real smell. What did I want it to smell like? Guac? Kinda did. Wouldn't that be funny? Like all these pleasant fruity scents in the line and then the avocado line smells like salsa and guacamole and stuff. Feels like it's giving me a little hold, perhaps. Try not to get too much in there. It comes and goes in waves. Milani eyeshadow primer. Let's put this on and then I'm gonna hit you with a new eye quad. Had some options here. I had some new Revlon quads. New-ish, I mean, they've been out a little while here. Revlon quads and CoverGirl quads. And I just picked the one that excited me most. And also I have not yet Use this. This is the Big Bang from Revlon. Revlon's So Fierce Prismatic Palette. Here's what we're looking at. Everything seems to have sheen. Um, I'm not sure. I really don't know. I'm gonna go in with an open mind and just see what happens. Here's what we'll do first. We'll go to... Oof, it'll set the tone. It'll set the tone. Purpley? Copper. Purple. Uh, copper. Put some of this copper in the crease. Texture seems like, I mean, I'm not going in and getting any fallout. They're pretty firm, but I feel like I'm getting enough. Oh, I did a TikTok, you guys. I'm really proud of myself. I was kind of like, I don't know what I was so scared of. Like, I, I wasn't quite sure how you put the clips together. And then one afternoon, I'm just like, I'm going to do this. I'm just going to figure out how to do it and do it. And I had been to Walmart. I got a few beauty related things. I got a few other things too, but I mean, I really went through the beauty aisle while I had the time and I posted a little haul. Yeah, I wanna do that kind of thing a lot more. The thing that's gonna get in my way is putting too much thought into it and stopping and feeling like everything I put on TikTok has to be some kind of brilliant idea. And it's like, I'm not that full of different brilliant ideas for TikTok. So I'm just gonna go with it. Just whatever I wanna do. I might just sit there and eat something. I don't know. I might just put some makeup on. I wanna keep it casual and fun. Um, that's what I want. There's this gold shade here. It's pretty gold. What if that purple was a fun little sweep on the lower lash line? Let's take this darker brown. Again, it does have shimmer. I should probably show you a close-up of this palette so you can see how shimmery it seems to be. See how the shades have kind of like a texture and a ripple pressed into them, but all have shimmer. So this is that brown. Very cool in tone. It's kind of like a real dirty bronze. Now I'm thinking about using my little smaller brush, my E27 in with that. Target the crease further. It's fine, you know, nothing, nothing's making me jump up and down yet. Nothing's singing on the eyes yet, but I'm gonna keep, keep grinding it out here for you. Let's try the gold. That gold is just saying, notice me. I'm right next to the purple, but notice me too. Okay, it's looking pretty soft. Coming off the brush there. Little let down. Let's try finger. Better. Okay, so tapped on with the finger, that shade looks a heck of a lot better, don't you think? I feel like I'm losing some of this, maybe. Let's intensify that. Warmth. Okay, and then this is what the purple looks like in a swatch. I feel like on its own, used lightly on the lower lash line, we're not going to get quite enough punch from it, so I want to put down some kind of base there. I wish I had something different to pull for, but it's going to be my Orchid Caviar Stick from Laura Mercier, which came out to play in the Singles Cruise as well. So this is just a jumbo shadow stick that's going to, like, set. It's going to be long wear. Does anybody notice like a hint of, of green in that um, gold? Or am I crazy? Now I'm taking the purple. Uh, I'm not sure how well this is translating on your screen, but I can see it. It's purpling up that orchid even more. It's the very shade of some of these um, redbud trees 
that are really just bursting out in the area right now. This is a very like springtime, what I'm seeing right now, I look actually. See the warm orangey shade are the old trees with their crusty old leaves that haven't done anything yet. And then we've got like the springy blooms and then we've got these purpley trees that are coming out, making their presence felt right now. I think I've packed on about all it's gonna take. Can you see it? Tell me you can see it. Then I got this Master Precise ink and it turned out to be metallic. It's waterproof. It's in the shade Black Comet. It's not like crazy metallic. I don't think this is super new. This was just part of a Walgreens order recently. I'm gonna take that across the upper lash line. I was just wanting to test something against Milani just to give Milani a little competition, you know? It does seem to wear well, but Whatever little metallic bit this has, it seems to take the edge off of its intensity just a little bit. It's like it's not glaringly metallic, but it's just a softer looking black. I have this Killer Queen shade from Too Faced. And just pop that right in the lower inner rim. Sometimes that can just exaggerate anything you were trying to do on the lower lash line. It can make it sing a little more. But gosh, that is kind of a reddish purple and it's usually the opposite of what I'm trying to do to my lower lash line every day. Okay, today we're gonna be using green mascara. <laughs> this is the Voluminous Original in the shade Deep Green. And I walked past this, they had like a special display of Voluminous in some different shades and I had to get this. I just felt compelled. I was in this euphoric state of being in Walmart after not being in Walmart in a long time and I just was like feeling so happy about everything I saw. <laughs> really dangerous. And I am going to, I feel like once upon a time David gave me a tip with colored mascaras saying you may want to prime your lashes with like a white I grabbed this Lancome one, I should have grabbed my Essence one, but same deal really, pretty much. So I'm gonna curl my lashes, get that on, and then we'll see how much of this green we can see. It's gonna be deep, so it's probably not gonna be real intense. Man, I haven't used Voluminous in a long, long time. I mean, maybe in the noonday sun, I'll be able to see a hint of green. I'm not really seeing it myself even right now, so I'm sure you're not on camera, but it is building up kind of nicely on this primer. That's not too bad of a look. I'm not going to put this on the lower lash line because I believe I've been burned a time or two smudge-wise from L'Oreal. And as a Capricorn, I won't forget that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I have a very forgiving heart. It's just not visibly green in this, in this light. I don't know. Noonday sun, maybe in the middle of a bunch of trees, and then I'll feel like that was green. Oh well. The tube is green. Is anybody satisfied by that? Thrive Liquid Lash Extensions on the bottom. I use this here because it, it uh, doesn't smudge off usually. I'm really excited for the lip product, guys. Okay, so I came across these Jumbo Balms, yay. Um, plumping Serum Lip Balms. Now, the Plumping Serum Lipsticks, those have been around a long time from Hard Candy because I remember wearing a Plumping Serum Lipstick when I went into labor with Belle and I had that on my lips and it actually like kind of stained and lasted really nicely. Um, but they have these Plumping Serum Balms and they're reminding me of like the big buxom lip balms, you know, like those in full size are kind of like this. So I got the shade Bountiful Bear and Richly Rose. And I'll try them both on here for you. So just twist up stick. Oh no, low battery. Eek. There's the Bountiful Bear shade. Okay, it really is kind of like not showing. Richly Rose, however, very satisfying. Um, I wouldn't say it feels super cooling going on, but you, you start to feel a little bit of the plumping effect after like 10, 15 seconds of having it on. And I like it. And I'm going to continue using that. As for the rest of this look, I was really impressed by the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. Not over the moon with the eye look, honestly. This little palette wasn't quite doing it for me. I like the Cream Milani Cheek Products and definitely this Catrice Sculpt Squad was very nice as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I love Love you and I'll see you soon. Bye.